Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an airplane boredom kit out of a simple pencil case. So, I don't know where I got this pencil case. I think you can just get it at normal station stationery stores. Like ones that are as good as this, maybe even better. Because what's good about this is that you can easily slip a pencil in like that. Slip it in the little pouch. Which you can also carry extra stuff. And boom, it doesn't fall out no matter how hard you shake it. Because like the problem with putting a few pencils here is it might scratch up your your pencil case. And it might ruin all the other things you've added. Like, you know, make marks on them. Like, especially if you're using, like, putting an uncapped pen. So, yeah, that's why this is good. So, another bonus is that it even comes with a mirror. So, yeah. And it comes with a pretty big storage area, it closes with a zipper, and it has a Mickey Mouse look on it, so bright red, but yours is probably different. So first of all, what I'm going to pack is four markers to be exact, because there are four slots in there. But see, the good thing about this is after you slip all the markers in, or the, actually these are highlighters, but they work really well as markers, so that's another good thing. It's a bonus, because it's a highlighter and a marker, so anyways, uh, so if you wanted to bring a pencil, but you had no room to put it in, so you can just slip it into this pouch, put it beside, and it's tucked in nice and carefully. It can still fall up, but it's better than putting it down here, so, bonus. Next of all, I put in a little Sharpie. And by the way, this isn't your normal airplane boredom kit. This is more like a crafter's kit, like, you know, just for crafting or doing art things on the airplane when you're really bored and maybe your phone is out of batteries. But good news, some airplanes have chargers on them, so yeah, don't forget to look for a charger. So yeah, I put a marker, I mean a sharpie in, so it doesn't really fit in as good as the pencil did, but it has a cap, so I'm just going to put it down here. It just makes it a bit more messy, but I can live with it. Next of all, I put in a green pencil grip just for playing with it, well, maybe if I were, it, maybe if I wanted to write an essay, then I would use this green, squishy thing. Oh, wait, no. Pencil grip, yeah. So, I also put a little notebook with some paper. So, good thing about this notebook, you can take the paper out. And there's like a whole bunch, all little squares. And you can just tie it up with, like, put it together with this little elastic band. Tuck it in your bag, find, or, like, tuck it in your kit. Find a place where it fits in perfectly. And bam, you got a notebook. And it's nice and small, too. I think you can get, like, small notebooks like these at most stationery stores. Does it look like I'm using a green screen? It does, but I'm not. It's just the lighting. Okay, so I also wanted to bring some tape. So duct tape was a little bit too big, and I wanted to keep this kit small. So you can either make, like, cut up some duct tape and make your own little roll, or as I did, like, I chose to use some washi tape. I don't know if this is washi tape, I just found this lying around, but it functions just like washi tape, so... I'm going to call it washi tape, so. And I also brought this mini clear tape. So, I would bring scissors to cut the tape, but I, like, if you're traveling to different countries, each country has, like, a different regulation of, like, 
how small your the blade can be so if you like your scissors and you don't want them to be like thrown away by the police then don't bring them but if you're ready ready to take the risk then go ahead but I recommend if you are going to be doing that it should be below 10 centimeters long because I know that in Canada they let you bring ones that are less than 10 centimeters long and in a couple of other countries it's only like 7 centimeters so try to bring the shortest pair of scissors you can so these tapes look well they would like since they're round they would just be like rolling around and that would make it very messy so when you take things out like you don't want to like spill it all over the airplane or like your seat so when you leave it will be like easier and like you won't have to clean up that much so I took a ribbon and I just strung the tape through so I wouldn't have to undo it when I'm using the tape because it still functions because it's tape so I could have just I could like just rip it off and cut it so I just tied it up in a little bow because to make it like not so permanent because like some knots you can't untie that's actually a great quote last of all well actually not really last of all I just said that for some reason I brought some bubbly silvery little sticky foam things I just kind of found in one of those like toy kits I used to have so yeah th this is really good for art stuff so I might be making a few tutorials with these they're all kind of messed up and ugly like like the packaging but they still work very well so I'm kind of lost for stickiness but oh well I packed that in also so I might make this a bit more neat later so it's not like having pieces all over the kit so that would be really messy so the next thing I brought was a broken ruler so you might be wondering what why do you I need a broken ruler so you don't actually really need a ruler but if you aren't planning on bringing scissors because you don't want them to be taken away then bring a ruler because it can cut paper like say I had this piece of paper over here and I wanted to cut it in half I could just push the ruler down and rip the paper and it would come out straight if I concentrated on my ripping, but it didn't, so, unfortunately. So next, I brought a little fishy keychain. Recognize it? Maybe you do from the update, like the update. Maybe you don't. Maybe you didn't watch it. So this fishy keychain is just, I don't know, I just like it, but... You can also hang it outside of your little pencil case, but it's mine is a bit big, so I don't know if I want to keep it there. By the way, sorry for the long tutorial. So next, I brought some pipe cleaners. They were kind of mainly for just fiddling with your hands. Yeah, I use the word fiddling. So... I kind of just wrap these two together or by themselves so they wouldn't like come loose and mess up your kit because it's really annoying when you get off the airplane and then like you have to like check all over the place to make sure you didn't lose something well you should do that but like with this kit all organized you won't really have to worry that much just make sure you put everything back in the kit after you use them. So I'm just going to tuck these in. Last of all, I brought a little wallet. It's a really old-fashioned one, but oh well, it fits. So it's kind of just uh, emergency money, I guess. Maybe if like you're really hungry and the airplane's not giving you food and you have to buy snacks and yeah, you have your emergency money. 
I brought an orange lollipop. Because, you know, like, when you're going up the airplane, you get, like, ear pressure. And then your ear hurts a lot. Or, I mean, it's called air pressure, not ear pressure. So, yeah, sometimes, if depending on the pilot, your ear hurts a lot. And then, so, eating candy gives you more saliva. Swallowing saliva makes it hurt less. So, yeah. But gum is better, but personally, I don't really like gum. So... So, I also tucked in these portable chopsticks. A fork would have been more ideal, but couldn't find any. Um, I actually don't remember where I got these, but you can take these two chopsticks and just, like, put it together by screwing them in. So, it's really handy in case the, um flight attendant like forgets to give you some forks and she ignores you when you try to get her attention so yeah that's a bonus of having these so I think the next time you go flying or maybe when you're at the airport just kind of look around in the stores maybe they have a store especially for like airplane stuff so maybe look around and they might have some type of you know, chopstick or fork stuff. And don't forget to bring snacks that won't fit, but just keep it in your backpack or carry-on bag if you have one, in your purse or something. And so you won't have to use your emergency money. And yay, money saved because you brought snacks. So last of all, I brought this Mockingjay pin for no reason. Because... I like it, I guess. And I felt like bringing something. This actually passed the metal detectors, so... So, yeah, it passed. So, all the stuff in here passed the metal detector, including the chopsticks, including this, inclo including the Oreos. So, um, if, if the metal detector person comes out and says, Oh, hey, you have scissors, then... Just tell them that it's under 10 centimeters, unless it isn't, then tell them the truth. So even this mirror passed, yay. So that's a great mirror for checking your makeup or something. I don't know, but if you even wear makeup. So that's about it. So that is the this airplane boredom kit. So hopefully... You won't get as bored with this awesome kit next time you go on the airplane. And one last bonus about this awesome pencil case, it comes with a handle. So if you don't carry your purse around, you can just, it can be like your own little luggage. It actually kind of resembles one a little bit. So, yay! It comes with a handle. So. If you're going out to buy a pencil case just for an airplane boredom kit, be sure to look out for some pencil holders, maybe a mirror, some pockets, a handle, and make sure it closes in really nicely, like this zipper, so none of the things fall out, and you won't have to like retrace your steps looking for, oh, where'd my pipe cleaners go, even though they aren't that important. So, thanks for watching, thumbs up, subscribe. And don't forget to check out our other videos. Bye.